Okay, this next example is, goes into a little bit more detail about ground unit opportunity fire. Opportunity fire is basically when one or more ground units attempt to move into the same space or past an enemy ground unit occupying an adjacent space. Um, so if that happens, the enemy unit may attack using opportunity fire. You treat this as a bonus attack prior to the actual combat phase. So uh, the attacking unit will receive its normal attack this combat phase. So essentially that unit that's doing the opportunity fire gets two attacks this turn. Now one other key is if the unit that is, is hit and say it's damaged by opportunity fire, say this attack happens, this attack happens, and uh, damages this unit, um, what you do is you carry over any of that damage into this turn's combat phase. So in other words, that damage is cumulative with their normal attacks this combat phase. So it's a very dangerous thing to do. So be careful as a player when you're moving into areas of enemy enemy units, you don't you don't want to necessarily move right up next to an enemy tank gun. So for example, this this Panzer IV, let's just give a, a, a quick and easy example. This Panzer IV in the movement phase moves up one one space. Now it's moved adjacent to this 57mm and a tank gun. He's also adjacent to a bazooka team hiding inside of this Tiger wreck for a little bit of cover. So, what happens? Well, in the movement phase, both of these units of the US get to fire a free shot against that Panzer IV. So let's see what happens. So in this case, I want to fire the bazooka team first. And the bazooka team, now one other thing is we're one space away, so that gives us a bonus to hit of three. So it's even easier to hit. Bazooka team normally needs a nine against the vehicle. Now it's a six on two D10 added together. Let's see what we get. So that is a nine. And that's a hit. So the bazooka team will hit the Panzer IV. We roll intensity like a normal attack. Eight is a great shot, plus the damage index of the weapon, which is a 6, results in 14 points of damage on this Panzer IV. Now, we do account for the defense of the Panzer IV of 6, so um, the actual damage that gets through is only 8, but that is enough to damage this unit. We're going to temporarily track that damage with a temporary tracking counter, and we take the 8 off of an 11, that gives us 3. That's past this half break point, and so we draw off the top of the damage card deck, a damage card. And we apply the vehicle effect. In this case, it immobilizes the tank, giving opposing units a bonus of two to attack. And it penalizes the defense of the unit. So now we've disabled, uh, as a US player, we've disabled this Panzer IV into uh, this space. Now, um, we've also affected his defense down two to a uh, four instead of a six. Now that's just with one of these opportunity fire attacks. This 57 may actually finish off the tank in the movement phase. So let's look at the 57. He gets an opportunity fire as well. So he's right next to this Panzer IV. The damage is going to stack. And let's see what he needs to hit. The 57 normally needs a 10 or better to hit a tank on 2d10. However, we are close range within one space, so that makes it a 7. Because of this immobilization, with another bonus of 2 to attack the unit, he only needs a 5 or greater on 2d10. Let's see if I can manage that. And I do. So a 8 and a 5 is going to be a hit. And that means the AT gun will, will hit with its shell. And we're going to take the DI of 4 and add intensity of 9. So it's a really good hit. And that is 13 points of damage going through on not 6 this time, but 4 because of the damage effect. So 13 minus 4 is 9, and that is going to be enough to finish off this tank. Now, um, we'll get to this later in another example, but what happens to the crew? Well, in this case, that kill shot of a 9 was high enough that it resulted in the crew being destroyed as well. So both of these units go out of the game, and the U.S. player would get 13 points, 11 and 2. So that is a um, potential effect of opportunity fire. 
That's a really uh, dangerous move there for the Germans. I uh, wouldn't recommend it. Um, if that had failed to take out that tank and that opportunity fire, um, these two units would actually still get to attack in the combat phase of this turn. So in other words, we're doing all this opportunity fire in the movement phase. That damage is going to continue on to stack in this turn. And these guys are going to get to fire again.